Hey, this is James with Animals in the Attic. Before we get into our next video, I wanted to introduce to you Josh Walton. He'll be our new branch manager in Central Florida. Hi everybody, I look forward to helping you with your wildlife needs. Roll that video. Hi, in Florida, we have a lots, of, lots of different types of bodies of water and in our experience, the homes and businesses near, near water tend to have more of a rodent problem than others. Um, it provides them a good source of food and water and combined with your home uh, they have the shelter that they need and everything they need to breed and, uh, and prolificate. In Florida, a barrel tile roof and a body of water equals rats. They're very difficult to keep them out of a barrel tile roof. Right, in my experience, um, we've, we've seen the barrel tile roofs, especially when the home is uh, near water or on water, they become a big challenge with rodents. Um, this is a classic spot right here in the eave for rodents to get up and inside of your attic. But when you combine a barrel tile roof with water, you're going to get rodents sooner or later. When, when we find these breaches, especially in the eaves, we, we seal them up with a closed cell foam and then we, we uh, cover that closed cell foam with at least three inches of reinforced concrete so no animal can get in there. Um, not a rat, not a raccoon, not a squirrel. But that, we found, is the best way to seal up any openings, is a combination of closed cell foam and reinforced concrete. 